More than 36% of Vermont adults reported symptoms of anxiety or depression in February 2021. That's a snapshot from the National Alliance of Mental Health. With access to both services and practitioners across the state for overall health at a low, our Rutland Bureau Chief Connor Olathorne looks at one new telehealth company hoping to fill those gaps. People having to wait three, six, sometimes even eight months just to have an initial appointment. And you know, a crisis waits for no one. Tiny Ray worked as a nurse practitioner for years in Vermont and is now fronting an effort to improve mental health care accessibility across the state through telehealth. It's called Telemedicine Essentials of America, and it's opening up resources for others who need services. And if we have resources out here in the community to check in on, you know, people who are struggling and giving them that support frequently, our goal is to minimize their utilization in emergency rooms. Part of the issue for health care across the state is location, as residents of rural communities can't drive long hours just for one checkup or visit. A benefit of telehealth, according to the state's Department of Mental Health Services Deputy Commissioner Samantha Sweet, is, quote, telehealth allows community members to receive care from the comfort of their homes, eliminating travel time and the need for transportation, thus making appointments more accessible. Something that we hear every day is how difficult it is for our patients to access uh, treatment, whether it be a lack of available providers. Prior to telehealth, they were driving uh, to UVM Dartmouth and sometimes to Boston, commonly to Boston, to see uh, a particular specialist uh, to get care for a particular condition. With staffing shortages throughout the healthcare industry, Ray says they aren't looking to add to that, rather fill in the gaps. We are not here to take anyone's business. We are here to support. Wherever the gaps are, we're here to pick it up. We are, we're really big on collaboration. So it's not, okay, this is my patient and that's it. No. If you're referring, we're going to collaborate to make sure that the patient gets everything that they need. Ray says in her next step, they hope to bring in a mobile van to help transport nurses to appointments in and help treat community members where they're at. Reporting in Rutland, Connor Olathorne, Channel 3 News.